praise your holy name, Father. I'm asking you to keep blessing these videos and guiding your wisdom into what you want us to see. I'm asking your blessing in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Well, in the last video, I talked about how Eve was created. She was created to be a helpmate for Adam. She had to be compatible to Adam. None of the other creatures that Yahweh had created was compatible to him. So he had to have an equal that would be compatible to him. And she was. She was made from Adam. She was part of Adam. Made out of that same material that Adam was made out of. So now let's go ahead and continue on the last parts of day six. Because you got to remember in the morning, early on day six, he created all the animals. And then he made Adam to go to sleep and he brought forth Eve. But then that's not the end of the story because, <clears throat> let's go back to chapter one and 26. And here we see God standing there or there with Adam with Eve, with his son, um, I don't know who else was there, but Adam was there. Eve was with him. They were the patterns that God would use in these next scriptures. The pattern. Now women, if they sew, they know that you have to make a pattern to cut out and form whatever you're going to make. Uh, men, you know, that is um, building something, you don't haphazardly do it. You make a pattern first to do it. So Adam and Eve was this pattern. Then God said, Let us make man in our image. Well, now you see that Adam was made in God's image because God patterned him after himself. And now he is taking and saying, Let us make man in our own image according to our likeness. Let them have domain over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth. Now, we can see this can't be Adam because Adam had named all of the animals. And this man, when he said, let's create man, this one would come after the cattle and everything was created. And he was to be have dominion over it all. So let's go on to twenty second. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God he created him male and female. Now this he created at the same time. Adam was created on the third day, Eve was created on the sixth day, but this group was created at the same time. He created him male and female. He created them. Then he, then God blessed them and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it. 
having dominion over all the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves on the earth. So this man and female was to have dominion and they were to multiply and be fruitful and fill the earth just like he had told the animals he had like he told the fish of the sea and the birds of the air to be fruitful and multiply well he is telling them to be fruitful and multiply while Adam was the caretaker over all of this he was to take care of it and and see that it ran into the order that it should that it would be in Yahweh's likeness and his will that this earth had to be cleansed from this sin that took place this this disgracing sin that when Satan fell caused this uncleanliness so we see here that the earth is being filled with mankind human beings as well as animals and fishes and birds and and then he says God says in 29 and God says see I have given you every herb that yields seed which is on the face of the earth and every tree which fruit yield seed to you <clears throat> it shall be food also to the beast of the earth to every bird of the air and to everything that creepeth on the earth in which there is life I have given every green herb for food and it was so and then God saw everything that he made and indeed it was very good so the evening and the morning were the sixth day so that we see on the sixth day that these things was created now this man and woman he didn't say not to eat of a tree of knowledge of good and evil they weren't were that tree was they were on the covering of the face of the earth they were growing they were multiplying they were they were out there doing what God had wanted them to do in the first place they were they were growing so we see this all happening on the sixth day now we have the seventh day that comes along and it says in chapter 2 thus the heavens and the earth and all the host of them were finished and on the seventh day God ended his work which he had done and he rested on the seventh day all, from all his work which he had done and then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because in it he rested from all his work which God had created and made so this is basically the history of Adam he was created to be a caretaker on this earth Eve was supposed to be his helpmate and compatible to him to be overseen they were used as a pattern to make male and female human beings upon this earth that would grow and when you hear science say that some of the cities were ancient 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 they were but it took them out there to grow and become mature and they were supposed to fill this earth and multiply the animals didn't need animals uh, they human beings didn't kill animals to eat they ate of the herbs of the ground at this point there was no killing and death like like we have come to know in fact 
we will one day go back to that state where we eat up the herbs of the fields, that the lamb shall lay down by the line. The child should go out and lay with the lion and the lamb and pet him and stroke him and, and she, that child can reach his hand into a viper's nest and they won't be bitten. That's the way it was and that's the way one day it will be again. But I will continue on this series. Father, in the name of Yeshua, bless this video. Amen.